disc rotates at 300 revolutions a minute with a tolerance of plus or minus approximately 1%. One, one Adjusting the speed is easy, but you'll need several things. You'll need the disc drive that you're going to adjust. You'll need a golden drive, and that just means one that you know for sure works. You'll need an apple and a monitor. You'll need a disc alignment aid, and you'll need a scratch diskette, and you'll need a screwdriver. Now here's how you do it. Turn off the power, take the lid off the apple, and then unplug the disk interface card and plug the target drive into the drive two position and plug it back into slot six. Now I'll put the disk alignment aid in the golden drive and boot it up by turning it on. There we go. I'll accept set target disk and I will set it for slot six, drive two. I press escape and now I will skip down to the D speed and it warns me that uh, it's going to write on my disk, so I'm going to put a scratch diskette in there. Press A to accept it, and look at the screen. It shows a scale with a minus 100 on the left and plus 100 on the right, with a marker indicating the, ac the uh, number of passes, the average speed, and the extremes. Now, by the way, the 100 doesn't stand for anything in particular. 100 units is about 3% and anything between minus 26 and plus 26 is acceptable. Look at the back of the drive. There's a little screwdriver adjustment right there. Now, see how the pointer moves on the screen as I change this adjustment. And notice that as soon as it goes past that minus 26 point, you begin to hear it pop and hear the speaker in the apple. And if I turn it the other way, as soon as I get past the, the plus 26, you can hear the speaker again. When you're adjusting one of these things, the optimum setting is not zero. The optimum setting is between minus five and zero. The reason for that is that when they creep, they tend to creep toward the fast side and so if you set it for minus five to zero, it, it'll stay right on longer. Now this one's looking pretty good. Okay, now that's all there is to setting the speed. Now you're ready to practice adjusting the speed of your disk drive. Stop the tape, eject it without rewinding, and take it with you when you go back to your workstation. A faulty or misadjusted right protect switch can mean disaster for your diskettes. And of course, according to Murphy's Law, it'll always destroy your most valuable diskette at the most inconvenient time. You can see the right protect switch right here. And the adjustment is such that it should disable just when it's even with the bottom edge of the top guide rail. Now that's a hard adjustment to make if you try to do it that way, but there's an easier way. To check the adjustment, use the same setup you had for the D-speed test. The golden drive in the drive one position, the test drive in the drive two position, the interface card plugged into slot six. Uh, with the disk alignment aid booted in the golden drive, we will select, uh, we're already set to go. Uh, target drive has to be selected for slot six, drive two. Now we're going to select the right protect switch and accept that. And you can see according to the screen that that is enabled. We use the disk alignment tool. If you look on the back side, you'll see a small indentation. 
This is the so-called slot two position, which means that when it's all the way in, the right protect switch should be disabled. And it is in fact disabled. When it's in the slot one position, it should be enabled. It should stay disabled when it's all the way in. To make the adjustment, on the outside are two set screws. You use an Allen wrench. This one, the one farthest from the bezel, is merely a pivot. This one is the one that actually does the setting. All you have to do to make the adjustment is to raise this front one until it disables. As soon as it disables, tighten it down. And then check it. It should, en it should enable when the adjustment tool is halfway out. It should remain disabled when it's all the way in. And that's just right. Okay, after rewinding the videotape, go back to your workstation and try it. Check it first, and then loosen the set screws and practice making the adjustment.